time for baseball under the Tropicana Field Dome in St. Pete tonight. A matchup of teams at Blake Snell will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This guy is a strikeout pitcher deluxe. Has over 250 strikeouts on the season. And if he brings his A game, look for a lot of punch outs in this game here. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. The one-two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Another one-two delivery. Fouled off. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? You know, Matt, a big Joey. part of the offense is Mark Joey. Trumbo. He's really swung the bat well against left-handed pitchers so far this season. He's hitting over 300 against southpaws, and he's facing another one of those today. I'm sure he's excited to hit in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. There's a breaking ball that he didn't quite get on top of. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to that set is the middle of the order up the with an opportunity to do Jonathan some damage. So when you strike Yaw. both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Pham is under it. And that retires the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Owes nothing. Tampa. The Bay coming up. Major League. Nate Carnes gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. And it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point. And it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Now a moment here in St. Pete for a glance at the Rays starting lineup. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, Matt, I think the guy to watch is Matt Duffy, the Duff man. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Slap hard the opposite way. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. And he will that add yet good. another game to fielder. his incredible hitting Dummy. streak as it now reaches even further yeah. into the stratosphere. You know, d -Row, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, do it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. He can beat you in so many different ways, and this number's getting just straight ridiculous. He's set. Here it comes. Takes this the other way to right, and that's in there. Base hit. 
And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting and he four. will creep ever closer to that record as Number you see 43. there. This hitting streak has reached epic proportions now. d -Row, this guy is just amazing right now. He's just swinging a magic wand and it looks like there's no end in sight to this streak. Yeah, you can't think of anything else. This is national news right here. This is all anybody's talking about. When you start getting into these numbers, almost two months and you're challenging Joe DiMaggio and the 56 game hit streak it's all anybody should be talking about and set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there hey the book on Kenny Jansen D road not a very big zone but he will give you that low pitch below the knees Yeah, and he's consistent you're OK with that now he goes the other way and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field on just a sec as this ball is driven into the outfield this should score one maybe two and the second run will score as that makes it a two nothing ball game that is good. Right we didn't have to wait long for They're the right. offensive fireworks in this one. Hey. Two runners aboard, and he got a pitch he liked. Drove it all the way to the wall to bring in a pair of runs, and they're still in good shape to add on with him at second now. Digging in, Eric Thames, and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch, and that's taken for strike one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Line toward the gap in left center. Borges is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Absolutely jump all that over that fastball. That's and it might have been a home run if he had it, any elevation under it, but Robert it was basically side. right at the outfielder. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Daniel Robertson. And he's the right man for the job with runners in scoring position as he ranks fifth in the AL in RBIs entering play. Yeah, and he's right up there in the top five in slugging as well. Line drive to center field. Borges is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll head to the. Second inning here in St. Pete. It's the Rays two and the Orioles nothing. Here's Mark Trumbo now. And you see what he's done in recent Leading action. Off, Obviously seeing the, the ball well is. right now. Mark. Hey, we're still in the early Trumbo. stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key hey. for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls in one strike. Here's the pitch. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses. Strike two. This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count. Really puts the hitters on a defensive side in multiple ways. You can go fastball up. You can go breaking ball down. One of the keys getting ahead. And he's done a very good job of that so far. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Mark Trumbo is retired to kick off the inning. All right, let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays on defense. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Fam will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. That is it. And the now the designated hitter, hitter for the Number Orioles, 24. DJ Stewart. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Snell, a 6-4 lefty, is currently third in all-star fan voting among starting pitchers, so he's hopeful at least to get an invite to the festivities. Yeah, and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision. You want to get in based on the fan vote. And he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the Midsummer Classic. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty.
throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. One, two, three. So digging in now, Willie Adamas, and he Leading enters play today, currently fifth in the American Not League in stop. hitting. One of the keys Willie. to securing Not a win, stop they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Around first, he's digging for second. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Batting it. And as you see right there, this streak will continue Here, as he inches forward up the all-time list. Hey, not an easy thing to do, d -Row. Think about this. He's in the 30s right now. He's basically gone like four weeks when he's gone to bed every night, and he, he probably sleeps pretty comfortably knowing that he got a base hit in every game. Oh, man, his dinner tastes better. His wife got prettier. Without question, this is a month they'll never forget. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow, he almost Bad made enough. a heck of a play in left. Yeah, Batty, you can't fold the left fielder there. Sure. You'll see he makes a tremendous effort, but he just can't haul it in, and it gets past him for an extra base hit. Like the effort, though. Jima and Choi the next to hit. There's a drive out toward the alley in right center. And this one will bounce into the wall. He's in at second safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Now back. Second base Always hit. nice to get some run no production way. from the bottom of your order, right? Wendell. That double brings in two runs and the top of the order is coming up here. This could really be a big inning. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Quickly, it's first and third now with nobody out. Oh, no, Dero, that's not a bad way to keep it going. And base hit right there. Hitting streak, 15 games and counting. Yeah, we're halfway through a calendar month, and he looks up and he's had a knock. You can't get caught up in it. You have to trust the process. Keep doing what got you to this point. Staying focused, not trying to do too much, staying within your plan and studying the opposing pitcher. And the runner scores.